Hey guys, I thought that I would make a video. Um, I know you've seen you've seen a lot of me today. I'm going away for a couple of days, and I should be back tomorrow, maybe. Um, but I thought to put my videos out there so you guys can enjoy them. This video is going to be about the memes that I have created for myself. To I guess memes are not you know they're supposed to be for everyone, but um. You know, just weekly things that I've created for myself that people can participate in if they wish to. Uh, I have three on my blog, and primarily most of the things I do are on my blog because I know that a lot of people are on YouTube, um, but and, and not so many people follow blogs. But um, I've, done, I've done a lot of research, and when it comes to reviewing and publishing and um, it, it really does pay to participate in blogs a lot more as well because that's what they're really looking for and I would like to be a little bit more professional with my blog as well because as well as um, being a reviewer um, I'm also currently working through a novel of my own and I'm trying to learn a bit about the business and world itself Anyway, enough about my rambling. Um, I have three memes currently at the moment, which uh, I will definitely be sticking with three. The first one is um, Catching Up Saturday, wherein I tell you what books that I'm catching up over the weekend and hope to finish on the weekend, because I like to sort of at least get a couple of books finished before the start of a new week, that's just me, um, so that I can start fresh. Uh, it's the same thing with the end of the month. I like to finish and wrap up a book at the end of the month, if possible. Uh, if I don't, I usually finish it on the first day of February. The second one is Start Something Sunday, where uh, on Sundays I start a new book. That may be an e-book, it might be something like a short story that I read on the computer, it may be a paperback, hardback, etc. Something off my to-be-read list, preferably. Um, I'm always adding books to my to be read list because I always buy books during the week um, so it's really hard but I try to take things off my to be read list especially books that have been sitting on my shelf for a long time and that's primarily my focus to try and get books off my shelf on Sundays um, and start the week with them which is I guess in a good way to sort of start circulating my books and lastly is short story Mondays I know a lot of people have short stories Saturdays, Sundays, Fridays, etc. But I decided to do mine on Monday because Mondays are like a start of a new week and I like to start something fresh and small. So, you know, after the week of heavy reading or not even heavy reading but reading a lot of books, it's nice to just kick back on a Sunday slash Monday and uh, chill out with a short story. Um, so, from now on, I'll be doing short stories and that may be from anthologies or just collections or just generally standalone sh short stories or short story series um, short stories preferably uh, so in standalone so that is something that you can look forward to on my blog currently I'm reading an adult novel and I think that most of the short stories that I will be reading are adult novels so you guys out there who are actually interested in branching out or getting back into the adult genre. I won't be reading like things like crime or anything like that. Um, I think most of the short stories that I like to read are primarily focused around um, romance, erotica, um, sometimes like, sort of cozy reads, like light sort of reads, cozy mysteries. And there are a few sci-fi ones that I have picked up and also, I will be doing some YA ones, so look out for that. I'm hoping to maybe do a couple of, like an alternate, like two YA and two adult short stories, maybe just to mix it up a little bit. So I thought I'd let you guys know that. I'm also going to be doing a, a spotlight once a month, if I can keep up with it. Uh, once a month where I spotlight a publishing house, publishing company. And this month I am going to be spotlighting Karina Press, which, sorry I'm just reading the bottom 
that's I got it right, yes, Karina Press, which is actually a digital first imprint of Harlequin. Now, I have, I'm going to link you to the spotlight below because I'm not going to do it on YouTube yet. Um, I would like to see more people trafficking on my blog, I guess, because, like I said, that's where I'm primarily doing most of my work at the moment because I don't ha always have a lot of time to make videos, even though it seems that way. Um, but I would really like some people to check that out. Of course, you don't have to, but um, it's a spotlight, and some people are always interested in, you know, hearing about new authors and getting out there and trying new things, and I thought that this would be a really great idea, especially uh, when most of these books that I am getting from different publishers are from NetGalley so I would really like to put myself out there as well and sort of become a little more aware of the publishing companies and make you guys more aware of them too so if you'd like to check that out um, it is a adult company with adult books uh, so it's not YA they don't publish YA I guess that's just what it is like. So if you are primarily a YA reader, then I probably wouldn't suggest you check this site out. But if you are open to reading any or other things, I would definitely check this out. So I'm off for a couple of days, and so I hope that you will check them out. Of course, if you find this um, interesting, let me know. I would love to know your opinions. If you think that it's a bit weird, let me know too. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in a couple of days. Bye.